Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. I'm Timo Redbeard, and this is another Getting Started video. Today, we're going to talk about the golden rules of Tarkov, the rules that are going to help you understand how to play Tarkov. And if you keep these rules in your mind, how to start living, surviving, and most importantly, making money. Let's get into this. So, the golden rules of Tarkov. Let's jump into them. But first, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. Consider subscribing and don't forget to caress that notification bell. I stream on Twitch Tuesday through Saturday starting at 12 p.m. GMT. Love to catch you there. We can have a bit more of a chat about you getting into Tarkov. But anyway, there are five golden rules of Tarkov. These are my golden rules, but if you speak to a lot of Tarkov players, you'll find that actually they pretty much say the exact same thing about the golden rules. With a few, uh, you know differences perhaps but the first golden rule of tarkov is that there is always one more i lost count of the amount of times when i was sherpering you know new players and helping out where i'd get a kill i'd take down somebody and they would just flock to its body just like whoa loot 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 there is always one more you must believe that there is another person until you have factual information telling you that there absolutely isn't. So, if you get into an engagement with somebody and you kill that person, you need to make sure that there is no one else around. Before you do anything else, you need to make sure that there is not another person because chances are, with Tarkov being such a heavy team game, the guy has a teammate. The guy might have two teammates, he might have three teammates, he could have four teammates. So make sure, before you go diving headfirst onto a body, that you remember the golden rule. The golden rule, the number one, the most important rule. There is always one more. The second golden rule, clear the area before you loot. Now this is a pretty important golden rule that doesn't necessarily just apply to bodies. This applies to high loot areas, um, especially <laughs> a few experiences that I've had on resort recently where people are starting to cheese keys. And what I mean by cheesing keys is um, room 301 uh, in Shoreline Resort. It's the third floor on the west wing. It looks out over the sky bridge towards east wing and there are two plant pots either side and there is a room with an open door to the side of it when you go and put that key inside that door you are locked in that an an animation there is nothing you can do nothing at all which means if you haven't cleared those plant pots if you haven't cleared that room and someone sat there waiting for you as soon as they hear the key go into that door they can step out they can blast you and there's nothing you can do about it whatsoever this also goes for a bunch of other places where you can open things up. Marked room on customs, marked rooms uh, in reserve. Um, anywhere pretty much that is a high loot area that you use a key to open, you need to make sure you clear the area first. Because someone's going to be hiding and they're going to hear the key go in. They're going to come out of their hiding spot and they're going to kill you. And you are literally unable to do anything but squeal. <laughs> but also make sure... That you clear the area when the bodies as well. Don't not just key rooms and other stuff like that. Make sure that you're clearing the area. Always. Because you don't want to die because you were greedy and you were looting. It happens to everyone. And it's the worst feeling. It really is. Stop and listen. Rule number three. If at any point you're not sure what's going on, get into a safe spot. Stop. Stop making noise completely from your end and listen. Audio is a fantastically helpful tool to identify what's going on, how you can react to a situation and how you can plan for a situation. For instance, if you're running into an area, you think you hear faint footsteps. If you just get into a corner, crouch, stop making noise, listen out, suddenly you hear those footsteps like running across above you. You're like, I know exactly where he is now. And I can start generating my plan of attack. Going up these stairs, going for a long flank. 
because you have the information, you can make a smarter, more educated decision. Fourth golden rule of Tarkov. Out of combat, walk. Don't run. Now, this rule can be a bone of contention. And the reason for that is because a lot of players that are very much smash W aggressive will be like, why would I ever walk? Why would I? When you're getting into Tarkov, the power of being able to react that splash faster is king. And to give you an example, you know, there have been many situations, but to give you a good example, you're on shoreline, you're outside, there's bushes and trees everywhere, you're kind of on one of the paths that's quite heavily trodden by PMCs, maybe you're heading down the shoreline from tunnel towards, um, to, towards gas station and pier, and you could sprint, you could sprint it, absolutely, but if you walk, and there so happens to be a PMC sprinting at you, head, like on the same path but in the, the other direction, you hear his sprinting way before he will ever hear you. And there's so much cover, so many bushes and trees, there's so much concealment, the audio is going to win out over visual in this sort of area. And so by walking, you suddenly have that extra bit of time, sometimes it's an entire second, sometimes it's less than a second, where he is sprinting at you and you can hear him, he can't hear you, and you can set up an ambush position. As soon as he comes into your visuals, you can spray him down because you're ready for him. He hasn't heard a peep yet, he's just full sprinting, and oh, he's dead. Walk. Don't run. It will save your life, I promise. And the last golden rule of Tarkov, number five, and nowhere near the least important rule, but it just happens to land in number five, is always do something. Never petrify. If you're in a combat situation and you are overloaded, your mind is struggling with creating a, a decision for, um, for you to do, don't just sit there. If you just sit there, you give your opponent all of the ability to either A, fall back, heal up, come back at you, fully ready to go. B, push you because they've got the advantage already and you're bleeding and you're not sure what to do. Um, or C, just, just completely outgame you, right? Because you did nothing. Reposition. Even if you're still not sure how you're going to re-engage the combat, Reposition. After your first initial bout of combat, reposition. Move to another area. Take up another position. Just that will make the other player have to work out where you've gone. And that slows everything down and gives you chance to make your decision. So instead of petrifying, always do something. Whether that's falling back, whether that's repositioning, whether that's going aggressive because you've already lit him up and you think that he's going to try and heal up. Always do something in combat do not sit and petrify because you are giving your opponent way too much of an advantage he knows where you are he's going to act like he knows where you are by pre-firing by pre-aiming by preparing himself if you don't do anything you are essentially committing yourself to die there are a lot more other rules that people would recommend to you when you're starting out playing Tarkov um, and there are a lot of other bits of information to take into account but if you keep these five golden rules in your mind I guarantee you I promise you that your survival rate will increase and that you will find yourself surviving and winning fights more often a couple of little bonus things a little extra you know Honourable mentions, should we say. Use your scav. If you're getting into Tarkov, you're still struggling and you're learning how to PMC, and especially if you're learning the maps, you haven't got them committed to memory yet at all, you're using maps on other screens and stuff, just scav. Every time it's up, scav. I promise you that by scaving, you will be able to learn maps, you will be able to get out with loot that's going to help you advance with your PMC, complete quests, etc, etc, etc. Make sure that you're using your scav on cooldown. That is a fantastic bit of advice for new players. And it's... There's a lot of uh, problems where, like, advanced players, hardcore players, would, like, frown upon scav running. Like, oh, why are you scav running? You know, oh, are, you, are you not good enough to PMC? Ignore them. 
ignore the whole stigma of it all. When your scav's on off cooldown, scav run. It will help you, I promise. Use it to learn maps. Use it to get loot. Use it to get quest items. It is there as a resource for you, and you should use it. It's free gear. It's free gear. And the last little honorable mention. Don't worry. And this <laughs> kind of seems like a silly thing to say. You know, oh, don't worry, you know, it's, it's just pixels. I know Tarkov can be a fear-inducing, anxiety-inducing, and really, really scary game to get into. It can be very, very hard to break out of this scare mode that you, you sort of like find yourself in when you first start playing Tarkov. The first three months that I played Tarkov, I crouched caps locked everywhere. That means lowest speed, crouched, sneaking around. I would spend the first 25 minutes of my shoreline raid just sneaking around like uh, like village in shoreline, like peeking every single corner, making sure that I was clear and safe before I moved to my next location, moving from cover to cover. Obviously, things change over the years, but don't worry. It is scary. It will get better. It is anxiety inducing. You will get better. And above all things, with the not worrying thing and gear fear, and gear fear will be a whole nother video because that's a whole pile of stuff to get into. But <laughs> with gear fear, don't hoard. And what I mean by don't hoard is chances are if you're starting out on Tarkov, you're using a standard account, maybe slight upgrade, but you're probably not running an EOD. You won't have a lot of stash space. If you have guns that are in your stash that you have gotten through a scav run or a PMC run, but you are too scared to run them, don't keep them. Sell them. Use that money for stuff that you can use. Use that money for stuff that you are happy to take into a raid. And over the months, over the years, it will come to you. Gear fear will just fade away like nothing. I promise you that. As long as you play to your strengths and you keep playing, it will just fade away. As you get more money, as you get more gear, you stop caring. I promise. Anyway, that has been the five golden rules of Tarkov, plus a couple of honorable mentions. I've been Timo Redbeard. If you've enjoyed this video, then go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing and don't forget to press that notification bell. I stream Tuesday to Saturday, starting at 12 p.m. GMT. I'd love to catch you there. I'm also working on a huge new project on YouTube called Going Dark. If you'd like to find out more, the Patreon is going to be in the description. And uh, feel free to ask me any questions via the Discord, which will also be in the description. Or come into my Twitch chat and ask. I'd love to answer them. Take care, everybody. Catch you next time.